Gorilla vs. Tiger. Who would win an epic showdown between these two animals? Let's imagine two of the most fearsome beasts ever, the tiger and a silverback gorilla, going head to head. That would be one of the most intense battles in Animal Kingdom, right? Both the gorilla and the tiger are large animals and are strong enough to give a bloody nose to any potential enemy. So, what happens in a fight between the strongest of the big cats, the tiger, and the strongest of the primates, the gorilla? The Eastern Lowland Gorilla, also known as Grower's Gorilla, is the largest of the four gorilla subspecies. It is distinguished from other gorillas by its stocky body, large hands, and short muzzle. One of the most wondrous and iconic animals to walk the earth, the Bengal Tiger, also known as the Royal Bengal Tiger or the Indian Tiger, is the subspecies with the largest population. It is the national animal of India, the place where its image is part of the traditions and the culture. How do they hunt and what do they eat? Eastern lowland gorillas are omnivores, enjoying both a plant-based and an insect-based diet. They mostly eat fruits, but also consume berries, leaves, and nuts. As for insects, the eastern lowland gorilla prefers termites and ants. Occasionally, these gorillas go after small rodents or lizards. They have been known to travel great distances in search of food. Their powerful jaws allow them to eat fibrous and tough vegetation. Adult gorillas need to eat about 18 kilograms or about 40 pounds of food per day. Bengal tiger's favorite meat comes from large, hooved mammals, including chital, gawa, and sambar. But they'll also prey on barasinga, water buffalo, wild boar, hog deer, leopards, wolves, or crocodiles. Increasing evidence also suggests that these tigers will coordinate attacks against rhinoceros and elephants. Bengal tigers kill their prey by overpowering their victim and severing the spinal cord, the preferred method for smaller prey or applying a suffocation bite of the throat for large prey. What are their dimensions? What do they look like? These gorillas are massive, as they are the largest species of primate on Earth. Male growers' gorillas are typically larger than females, and the species clocks in at about 450 to 500 pounds, 204 to 226 kilograms. But there have also been cases where it has reached 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. These gorillas can be 5 to 6 feet tall, 1.5 to 1.82 meters. They have large heads in comparison to the rest of their bodies, as well as strong jaws and teeth. Like other gorillas, they have a thick coat of dark fur, save for their faces and hands. They prefer to walk around on their knuckles. For added protection and warmth, gorillas have a thick layer of dermis and epidermis, or inner and outer layers of skin. Compared to the other eastern gorilla subspecies, the eastern lowland gorilla has shorter hair and teeth and longer arms. The morphology of the Bengal tiger is beautiful and imposing. It is a mammal with thick legs, strong teeth and jaws, and a coat with a characteristic coloration pattern. In this regard, its skin shows a yellow to light orange color that in the belly and the internal areas of the legs becomes white or cream. Black, gray, or brown stripes run vertically down all its body before the tail where they become rings. Males have a length of 8.8 .8 to 10.2, 2.7 to 3.1 meters, feet, including the tail. Only the tail is between 33 and 43 inches long, 83 to 110 centimeters. 
The weight of males can range between 400 to 550 pounds, 181 to 250 kilograms. How do they behave in the wild? Gorillas are social animals, and the eastern lowland gorilla is no exception. The distribution of gorillas is in tight-knit family groups called troops or bands. These troops travel, feed, and raise their young together. The troops are led by a large male gorilla called a silverback. They also contain two or three female gorillas and their young, and can also include a few subordinate male gorillas. Though the troops are usually small, researchers have recorded groups as large as 30 individuals. Rarely, there are two silverback leaders in a group. The primary traveling unit of these tigers is a mother and her offspring. Besides the early development period, which lasts about two to three years, Bengal tigers are solitary creatures. On rare occasions, a group of tigers will converge in the same area, usually because of a plentiful food source. When such gatherings happen, the group of tigers is called an ambush or streak. These tigers, like nearly all other tiger species, have home territories that they rarely leave. When children go out on their own, females typically stick close to their mother's area. During their first year living alone, adolescent cubs visit their mother's territories, females more often than males. Where does each of them live? Can they meet? No, these two animals cannot meet in the wild because they live on different continents. The only place they can have a fight would be in a zoo. This species of gorilla lives in the eastern region of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. They thrive in the tropical lowlands and rainforests. Their range has decreased drastically in the last few decades. The distribution of gorillas is also much more sparse because of habitat fragmentation. They used to inhabit a range of about 8,100 square miles. They now inhabit around 4,600 square miles. Many national parks cover eastern lowland gorilla habitats, such as the Kahuzi Vega National Park and the Mako National Park. Data suggests that eastern lowland gorillas occupy only 13% of their former geographic range. Generally speaking, Bengals live in tropical, subtropical, and temperate forests with access to water. Altitude-wise, they typically stay between 660 and 9,800 feet above sea level. However, that may be changing. Today, these tigers live in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. In India, they stick to tropical forests, subtropical deciduous forests, certain grasslands, and mangroves. Bangladesh has seen a thinning of the tiger population. The animals are now only found in the Sundarbans, which are mangrove forests, and the Chittagong hill tracts. Nepal is home to three small and isolated tiger populations in Chitwan National Park, Pasa National Park, and Berdia National Park. In Bhutan, Bengals live in 17 of the country's 18 districts. Now let's find out together who will win a fight? A silverback growers gorilla or a Bengal tiger? The Bengal tiger and the silverback gorilla are both kings of their own habitats. They are huge in size, strong as well as smart animals. Although their size is about the same, it is possible for the tiger to grow even larger. But let's establish from the beginning that these are two individuals of equal weight, because this is not impossible. The gorilla is also a strong competitor and can challenge the big cats whenever needed. If a tiger attacks a gorilla, the gorilla is not a safe and easy target and can inflict potentially lethal blows on the tiger. These large primates can lift over 10 times their body weight. In a fight between a tiger and a gorilla, 
A gorilla has the advantage of its strong chest, strong and lengthy arms, and enormous weightlifting ability. Their huge and powerful arms can deliver a knockout blow and can break the backbone. In addition, their thick hide and long hairs can be helpful in their defense. The tiger has the advantage of its speed, lengthy, strong claws, and enormous canine teeth, and it has better maneuverability. A gorilla has an incredible bite force of 1300 PSI. The tiger is close behind with a bite force of 1050 PSI. But at the same time, tiger canines are about 0.5 to 1 inches longer, 1.25 to 2.5 centimeters. The tiger also has the advantage of a muscular body and thick fur. The strong-willed, tenacious gorilla will nevertheless be able to put up a strong and determined fight and inflict severe injuries on the tiger. The thick neck of the gorilla can avoid an easy victory for the tiger. The only serious chance for a gorilla to defeat a tiger could be to strike its backbone with its massive arm, but this will be very difficult to achieve due to the agility of the tiger. The biggest disadvantage of the gorilla in front of a tiger is that it has no experience of a hunter. So in this fight, I will let you decide who is the winner. Write in the comments. And also from today, after each video, I will make a poll on the community. So we will decide each time together who is the winner of the fights. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.